Okay. Give me another one. Can I ask my own question? Yeah, you make it up. Go for it. Okay. Um, compare the person you were before we were born to mm -hmm. how you are now. Well, that's kind of loaded, but I'll do it. <laughs> Well, okay, so before, um, and now we'll talk, I mean, you know, growing up, I was a normal boy, again, four four boys um, in the family, uh, more bloody noses and broken teeth and um, stitches and broken arms in any given year than there were months, okay, that was, that was kind of me growing up. Um, but at the same time, even though it was all boy, I was, I did really well in school and, and it was kind of a, considered to be a good um, student and citizen, officer of the school, all that kind of stuff. Graduated all the way through college um, with really, um, really doing well in terms of just, you know, looked like I was on a good track. It was after college when I went on this journey to find myself um, and I ended up not finding myself at all. I got really lost, as a matter of fact. Um, and that, that period right there is um, strange, wayward, lost. Um, and well, I can't really, I don't want to really go into some of the details because, you know, I don't want to mm -hmm. make you shocked, <laughs> right? Um, uh, maybe there's things I tell you when you're 40. Um, you know, I just, just made lots of bad decisions, and, and I was the least likely candidate to be a dad um, up until the very moment that you were born, as a matter of fact. Um, I changed day and night, and, and when I say I changed, it was really a change in my mind and my heart. Um, the changes that started to take place in my life took a while to start showing up, right? But my heart changed and my mind changed. And, and the story is pretty amazing because I actually read, you were, you were, it was March 1st, you were going to be born on March 22nd, I think. Um, and on March 1st, I really came to the end of myself that day and I said, oh my gosh, there's a human being coming in three weeks, um, a girl, and... I am the least likely person to be a dad. And I read this, the parable of the prodigal son, and um, there was something about that parable that stuck out to me when I read it, and it was about when that son um, was a long way off in this faraway land, eating with the pigs, um, and he said he turned around. That's all it said. He turned around, and when his, he was a long way off, his father saw him. And when his father saw him, um, what did his dad do? He ran to his son. He made that path, that distance shorter. And that was really my story. I stopped right there and I said, wow, that, that, that was, that, that's me. All I have to do is change my mind and turn around. And when I did that, I actually penned a letter to God, wrote a letter to God, sealed it in an envelope, and believe it or not, 22 days later, you're supposed to be born. But the minute I did that, I heard your mom in the next room scream that her water broke. It was like... Um, seal the envelope, make that deal, and you're on the way, and you came within hours of that moment. And um, was my life necessarily different in terms of did I suddenly have money where I didn't have money, or did, you know, was, I, was it manifesting in my life? Yet no, but my mind had changed, and immediately my life began to change. Um, got a great good jobs, um, stability, um, information just started coming to me that really taught me and led me along the way. So um, that person before and that person after, no one would have chosen that guy to be a dad. But um, I started, you know, as I've, as I've grown older and looked at this, the best heroes of, the best stories of the humans, the, of, of the human beings are those guys, right? Nobody would have bet on David to be Goliath. <laughs> Nobody would have bet on, you know, the, the colonists to win the American Revolution. So the underdog, the guy, the team, the girl, whatever that is, that is um, the least likely one is sometimes the greatest story. And so, um, you know, we don't give up on, on, on those, those underdogs. And that's what I was. Um, not, not anything that you would have ever fathomed would be a dad. But good thing is um, those, those end up making some pretty great stories. So it was, you were the first in what was triggered by two more to follow. Uh, trans transformative experiences for me. So, thank you for that. And when you're older, I'll tell you some of the details. Okay. <laughs>